Hello guys, welcome back to the weekend sugar. First, I'd like to apologize for not uploading videos for two weeks now. It's because I've been away and I didn't really have the time to record um, baking videos. But I'm back and I've come here in gifts. So this week, I'm gonna make a baking supply haul. This is a non recipe video, but um, I hope that you still like it. So let's begin. The first thing that I bought was from SM Lanang in Davao and it's this pink measuring cups. I already have my own sets of measuring cups but what I liked about this one is that it has a 1 8 measuring cup which is not um, the usual when you buy these things. And I bought a lot of pink things which is quite surprising because I'm not a big pink fan. So the next thing that I bought is another pink thing. Another pink thing. Um, it's this liquid measuring cup and I also bought it in white. What I like about this is that it comes in hard plastic so it can handle hot liquids and um, it has both ML and cups measurements. Next up is this cake decorating pen which actually I bought this month ago and it was from Wonder Baking in the Town Center and I think that you use this for um, decorating sugar biscuits, you can use it to make fine lines because of that feature, it looks like a pen. So it's very useful for that. But what I really wanted to buy was this food decorating pens from Gourmet Writer. I bought this from Napski Baking Supply Store in Davao. And it's, um, they have a lot of colors but they only chose um, the black colors because um, I think that they expire quite fast. So I really need that much color anyway. So you can use this for decorating big goods um, for, and it's not toxic, so it's really, really safe. The next thing that I bought is this alphabet and number cutter. Again, I already have um, alphabet and number cutters, but they come in a small size. So I really wanted to buy this one because it's bigger. And again, it's great for making greetings or you can use it as cupcake toppers also. This was this is probably my most favorite buy from the baking from my haul. It's a monument cookie cutter. Um, so you have, have there like the New York, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, the Big Ben, the Pyramids of Giza, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the Opera House in Sydney Hall. So I think the cookie cutters are very very pricey. So you need to choose wisely. Really choose the cookie cutters that you think you can use all year round, again and again. This one again, this one is very frozen, very wintry. It's a snowflake cookie cutter. They're really, really very cute. They come in different sizes. This one is, is very timely. It's an autumn leaf cookie cutter and it, they come in different shapes and sizes, which I really, really love. I love autumn, even though we don't have autumn in the Philippines, but I love autumn and it's gonna be so much fun decorating this sugar biscuits. What I love about this type of cookie cutter also is that they come in packages already and this can be the container. The, at the back as you can see there is a, seal, um, a cover so you can just cover them up and label them and you know every time and you can keep them in one place and you know that this is, these are your cookie cutters. Again another cookie cutter. Um, it's called a vegetable pie crust cutter but I figured that it can also be used for sugar biscuits and for fondants. And they're not actually vegetables but fruits, so very cute strawberry grapes, pineapple, and cherry cookie cutters. Again, I'm on a cookie cutter phase right now. I'm collecting cookie cutters and they're quite expensive, so I want to invest in them. And if you know anywhere where I can buy cookie cutters, please leave a comment below. Another investment that I figured I would really really have to make is this cake pop mold. Um, I already have a cake pop mold, but um, it doesn't have a cover like this. This one is much better because it comes out like a perfect circle, so you don't need to make any shaping um, when you're making them. The next thing that I bought was this cupcake. Um, 
cupcake, a self-standing cupcake tin. What to call this? I forgot what to call this, but it's really, really cute. They're um, freestanding and they're, they're very hard, so the color cannot be seen. It's not see-through, and it's polka dotted and it's pastel blue, so very nice for parties. Another investment that I made is, is I bought this cake leveler from Gilton. If you are anything like me who doesn't really really know how to level cakes the right way then this is a great investment to make it comes in nine settings so it depends on how thick you want your cake slices to be but this is really great especially if you're gonna make a lot of cakes which I will be making a lot of cakes soon I wanted to make more cake videos for you guys so um, you would see me and see this cake leveler from Milton in action very very soon so this is how you kind of use it. I love it. The next thing is this is um, fondant. I'm gonna make fondant soon, but I wanna try this ready to roll fondant, which I'm gonna use for a cupcake recipe. Another cookie cutter is this teddy bear cookie cutter. I actually wanted to buy smaller teddy bears, but they don't have anything in stock so I figured I'd just buy this big one but it's really great you can decorate it any way you want you can make pandas palabina bear teddy bear it depends on you this one is surprisingly very expensive for social little thing it's 350 pesos again from Rapsky and it's just a Lego cookie cutter I love, love, love this one. I'm so glad that I found this. It's a paella pan, but I'm not planning to use it to make paella. Um, but it's oven safe, so you can cook a lot of things there without you know, risking it from burning off. And a lot of breakfast recipes come to mind when I see this pan. So I'm very excited to use it. Again, this, this one is just a boring sauce pan, which I'm going to make to make sauces. In this plastic contains a lot of food colors. This brand is from AmeriColor and it's a soft gel food color. I love the colors from AmeriColor. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of choices, just this eight. Um, I'm going to use this for macarons because so, um, gel colors are best used for macarons because they do not add so much moisture to your macarons and they provide that really nice color. I love them because just like um, the next item, the CK food color, they come in squeeze bottles so they're very easy to use. You don't have to um, second guess on how much you're going to use. Just squeeze it a little bit and you can control it basically on how much color you want to use. Again, this one is a CK, a squeeze gel color and it comes in the color brown. The next item on the haul is this um, oils from Loran. I bought a cotton candy oil from Loran before and I love it so much and I figured that this raspberry and cherry ones would taste just as great. The last item on the list are these two things. The first one is from Rembu Dust. It's a silver um, metallic dust in silver and it's great for decorating macarons and, make, and decorating cakes. It gives you that professional look to it so very very nice this one actually is one of my favorites also this stardust it's gold again non-toxic and this is from ck also and it comes with this really really pretty gold color i love it so much so that's it guys that's all in this baking supply haul um this is my first time to do such a video like this so i hope that you like it if you like this and you want to see more recipe videos click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and click on those pictures to see uh, my previous recipe videos so next this friday i'm gonna upload another video and back to my regular programming so i hope that you stay and watch thanks for watching bye